Okay, so we're looking at um, first year core textbook, mixed exercise nine. Um, and we are on uh, question 15, I think. Yeah, question, oh, sorry, question 15. I'm having a few technical issues with the textbooks. I'm having to paste the questions. Okay, um, so we are given, right, so we are asked to consider the function sine is px. So that is going to be um, a stretch of the sine curve. Okay, and they don't tell me um, uh, what value, any, anything about P, so P could be negative, it could be greater than one, it could be less than one, um, you have to think about that. So the, close, um, the closest point to the origin, the graph crosses the X axis, has X coordinate 36. Okay, so, so um, if I'm stretching in the X direction, Obviously, it's not going to shape, um, affect the shape of the sine curve. And to be honest, when you're drawing a sketch, it doesn't really matter, or a stretch, I should say. Um, it doesn't really matter how kind of stretched out or stretched in it is, because um, you can just label your axes accordingly. So, actually, when I say it's set from 0 to 360. Okay, so I probably haven't sketched from 0 to 360 there. Um, but I'm just trying to get my head around what this graph is gonna look like. So the closest point to the origin um, that the graph of f of x crosses the x-axis has coordinate 36. So they're saying that that, oh, why am I writing for them 60? They're saying that that coordinate there is 36 degrees. So then they're asking me to determine the value of p and sketch the graph. Okay, so I, I started to sketch it, but I suspect now um, I'm gonna find that that's, that's not a big enough, um, I haven't left myself enough space to actually draw the full graph from 0 to 360. So that was just to, to sort of get me going. Okay, well, let's think about what the sine curve would normally look like. So normally that intercept would be at 180 and I'd have 360 and so on and so on. So I'm sort of thinking about, well, what's happened there? Um, and what has happened there is I do 180 divided by 36, I get five. So that has squashed in by scale factor um, or by a fifth. So it was at 180, it's now at 336. So I've done 180 divided by 36 and that's given me five. So if um, something, so if you're going the X direction and you want to squash it in by five, that's actually gonna, or by a fifth, so I should say, then that, then that would mean that P is five. So whatever that is, when we're stretching in the X direction, that you're actually gonna, your, your scale factor or your, your stretch factor is gonna be one over that. So um, I don't think I've drawn, so that's, that's the, yeah. So, so let's tell you what, let's be really, hopefully it's quite obvious from what I've written, but let's be really clear. So P is five. So I think I'm gonna have to um, start again for my, my sketch now to get the whole, Thing on because basically if p is five um normally between um zero and 360 i would have one um full cycle of the curve so i need to fit in five so i'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sketch the curve before i start trying to label the intercepts it's, oh, not even that pen right so just try and get it as, as even as i can i reckon i'm sorry i just don't think i've Still had enough space, have I? So I've got one, two, three. Oh, nearly. Okay, let's not be lazy. Let's, no. let's try it again. Okay. So I need to go even smaller. No. Okay, right. So one, two, three, oh, just. Okay. So all those maximum points are gonna be at one, all those minimum points are gonna be at minus one because we're not stretching in the Y direction, we're just squashing it in scale factor five. Um, I am just gonna tidy up that bit. That doesn't look sort of to scale, to scale with the rest of it. It's not really much different, but okay, that will do. Um, okay, so I'm gonna label all those intercepts. So I knew the first one was 36. So that one is, well, basically, all of these intercepts are gonna go up by um, 36 each time, to be honest. I don't think I do need to label every single one of them because it does say 
sketch and it doesn't specifically say to label them. But well, so the last one is going to be 360 and you, you, you could label the others as well. I won't just say this video isn't any longer than it, it needs to be. Um, and I should label, I was going to say I should label the equation of the curve, but I've sort of got that there. Okay. Um, that wasn't quite the whole question, was it? So that was, so that's A, write down the period of f of x. Okay, so um, the period is just going to be, uh, where am I? Because I'm doing the period of f of x. So how often um, does it does it start repeating? So normally, so I'm looking at, yes, yeah, so I'm looking at this sketch here. Okay, so that's one cycle. So normally the period of sine x is um, 360 degrees. Yeah, that's what that's what it normally is. So we've squashed in. So um, what are we going to say? So B, the period of our our trend, our um, uh, stretched graph is seventy two degrees. Try that again. Seventy two degrees. Okay, and that's all for that question.